the DVD reviews here. October's here. Time to talk horror movies. 28 more days of Halloween Silver Shamrock. And today we're going to be kicking off the festivities with Boogeyman. <laughs> Boogeyman is a PG-13 horror movie from 2005 produced by Rob Tappert and Sam Raimi, the Evil Dead guys. So you know it's got to be fucking really good. Fucking Sam Raimi and Ghost House Pictures, the king of fucking PG-13 horror. If you look at their track record, all their fucking theatrically released movies make money. People just love to go flock to them. They all have, like, fucking tired-ass premises with no gore, no scares, nothing. But, hey, people love to see it. And this was the first one that really kicked it off for Ghost House. Boogeyman actually starts out pretty fucking good. It is a flashback to a kid. He's in his room at night. It's all fucking all dark and shit. He's getting scared. His dad comes in to fucking, you know, try to comfort him. And the fucking boogeyman comes out of the closet, grabs his dad, snatches him all this. 20 years later, the kid's all grown up. He's still traumatized from seeing the boogeyman fucking grab and snatch his dad. Everybody's telling him, oh man, you're just crazy and shit. Go see a shrink. Your dad just left you. Your dad just disappeared off the face of the earth. He just left you. He just abandoned your family. And you made all this boogeyman shit up in your head. So the guy's like, whatever, man. I know what I saw. And everywhere he goes, he's creeping around. I keep seeing little shit. This is one of them fucking annoying movies. You can tell they really ripped it off. Trying to be like the fucking Japanese horror movies and shit. With little fuckers in the corner going, yeah, yeah. Like, you know that fucking annoying style where everything just like, <laughs> fucking camera shakes and fucking just high pitched fucking squeals like, <laughs> trying to jump you out of your fucking seat. Well, if you like that shit, Boogeyman's got you fucking covered because that's all this fucking movie is. I like the setup, I like the premise, but then shit really goes wrong. He goes back, his mom dies, he goes back to the old town for a fucking funeral. He decides he's gonna go to the fucking old house where he grew up in. His dad got snatched to confront his demons and shit. Well, this is where the movie really goes fucking south. You think the movie's just starting to get going, that there's some good plots going to be coming out and shit? Well, he just goes to the house, and all of a sudden the movie gets real hackish. They just start having all these fucking flashbacks to when he was a kid. And not like flashbacks to even cool or interesting shit, just boring shit like his mom in the kitchen doing dishes and shit. The movie really slows down about 25 minutes where you all of a sudden you get all the backdrop to fucking his family and shit. I mean, whatever, man. And But but meanwhile, when he's doing the flashbacks, he's looking at all the closets and shit. He, get, he falls in the closet. And this movie is just fucking jerking off cock tees of a movie. There's so many times like he gets pulled into a closet or something and there's just all this dark shit and shaky shit and you hear the little <laughs> fucking annoying sound and shit and then fucking he always jumps out and gets out. Oh yeah, but all this shit ain't happening, right? He has a girlfriend in a movie. She don't believe him. He has a child with a friend in a movie. Growing up don't believe him. Nobody believes this motherfucker. But then of course fucking Boogeyman starts grabbing people and shit. There's like a weird scene in a hotel room where the boogeyman takes his girlfriend up out of the tub. And it's such a weird choice, man. I guess PG-13, whatever. Like, they actually showed the girl come out of the tub naked. Like, completely naked. You see her boobs and everything. But PG-13, whatever. Like, like where her nipples supposed to be, it's just smooth. Like, I don't know if they put a pasty CGI or what. But it's just like, she got boobs, but it's just smooth. No nipples. No nipples in the PG-13 world. And that's my problem with PG-13. People are like, I don't need blood. I don't need violence. I don't know. It's like, but the PG-13 movie, instead of avoiding them things... The PG-13 movie goes there, but then it just like, you know, you get all this weird shit, like people fucking anatomically incorrect, like fucking Barbie dolls and shit. Hey, if you're gonna fucking go there and be a hardcore and have nudity in your movie, fucking have some nipples. Come on, man. I mean, I don't know what else I have to say. I mean, he meets a ghost of a little girl who guides him through the journey and try to figure out how to, you know, there's not a whole lot of mythology behind the boogeyman. It's just like a CGI shadow in the corner most of the time that's always fucking shaking. It looks like some fucking, like, leftover special effect from a fucking Marilyn Manson video from 1998. This movie doesn't have a whole lot going on effects-wise. There's not a whole lot plot. Well, there's really no story for me to review other than he goes to his fucking house. And yeah, he has a showdown with the boogeyman at the end. That's what kills me about this movie, man. This movie actually had a pretty good fucking setup. The main guy, Barry Watson, he was actually a pretty believable actor. And that's another thing, like, I guess save some money, shot the shit in New Zealand. Which, hey, I ain't got no problem with, even though it obviously looks like New Zealand. But whatever. But, like, there's, like, a scene where he goes to a funeral, and it fucking goes to talk to his uncle. It's like, hey, Mike, how you doing? Right? It's so obviously fucking dubbed. It's so obvious this guy was a local actor that hired in New Zealand. He couldn't do the American accent. They just dubbed. There's about two or three other, like, just little minor characters you can tell are dubbed and shit. He gives the movie, like, a real fucking annoying thing. The fucking box says everywhere, produced by Rob Tapper, Sam Raimi. You watch the fucking special features. The director admits Sam Raimi was nowhere near this thing. It was just Rob Tapper. So, well, but the thing that's weird is like the movie's directed in the weird like rip-off style of Sam Raimi. There's all these constant zoom-ins and fucking crazy camera angles and shit. Which is cool in a fucking Evil Dead movie when like Ash is fighting monsters and shit. But there's nothing happening to this. Like literally the guy will walk in the room and it'll be like, 
<laughs> like fucking spin the camera and all this shit. There's just nothing going on in this movie. There's so many tedious scenes. Of motherfuckers walking in a room and looking around. And after you get cocktailed about five or six times, and you know nobody's gonna get ripped apart. Nobody's gonna fucking die because it's fucking PG-12 or whatever. Like you know nothing's gonna happen. So quit showing the same shit over and over and over. I wanted to like this movie. It had a cool setup. I feel like we got half of a good movie, and then like they just lazy the fuck out and just fucking made an 82 minute piece of shit. So, on a scale of 1 to 10 as a movie, I can only give Boogeyman, because it went about halfway and then lost its heart on I can only give it 5 out of 10. Picture and sound, this being a DVD, Sony one. Usually their DVDs look pretty good by DVD standards. And this one don't look too bad. It is a little washed out though. Like some of the scenes, like the motel scenes and shit. It's just the way it's shot, but you can tell it's kind of washed out. Not nothing really show offy. The 5.1 sound was pretty good, even though it featured all them a little annoying fucking. <laughs> That's what the sound was. But it worked. It was good. It flew all around the room and the fucking surround sounds and shit. What can I say? But you know, kind of just being middle of the road, picture and sound and shit. Picture and sound, I can only give a fucking six and a half out of ten. Extra features, they did put some shit on here. There's some fucking deleted scenes. There's an alternate ending, that, which by the way, ain't even fucking finished. There's a weird two-part documentary, 15 minutes each, with about 30 minutes. But I gotta say, man, the interviews, like... <laughs> I, they, whoever is doing the interviews on this just was like, must have been asking the bullshit questions because people just sit there and ramble on. Like you don't get a, like a real, I guess because this was just like a paycheck movie for people, you don't get like a real good sense of like what the movie they wanted to be or where it was going or why they wanted to make this movie and shit. And by the way, fucking Sam Raimi Ghost House, blah, 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 blah. yeah, fuck, he's not interviewed on this shit. He won't be fucking seen anywhere. But he's, his name is always like oh on the poster and shit to get you go see it. Fuck that. Sam Raimi's just cashing in. I figured that out a long time ago, but it's still his fans fucking defend him. Oh no, fuck everything he produced is so good, it's all just like Evil Dead. Whatever, keep lying to yourself, motherfuckers. Then we get a visual effects progression thing, which is like, surprisingly on these little unfinished scenes, you can see there was a little boogeyman guy in a costume. Motherfucker never showed up in an actual movie as far as I could tell, because it's always just a CGI shadow. But, you know, it's cool kind of seeing how they put the scenes together. And then they have some animatics, which is a little cartoon like that they make to kind of like plot out how they're going to shoot it and stuff kind of like a storyboard but like a moving storyboard honestly that shit was boring as fuck to watch and then they get some previews and i like about 10 previews on here like usual fucking sony always fucking blows their load promoting their other movies and shit and there's the worst previews man there's a fucking preview on here for a movie of tommy lee jones being a bodyguard to a cheerleading team i don't know what the fuck they were thinking when they made this disc not even fucking horror previews on this Fuck them previews, man. Special features, they did have a bunch of shit, but it all just seemed like leftover garbage that they had sitting around when they were done making the movie. It didn't seem like they really put them together for this fucking special edition DVD. It just looked like some shit. They're like, throw something on there so we can charge a couple bucks more. Special features, I gotta say fucking bullshit on it. I can only get special features 5 out of 10. They tried, but not very fucking hard. Anyway, it's October, fucking Halloween's almost here, let's all get excited, let's get fucking pumped, carve up your jack o lanterns fucking, you know, get some candy to hand out to kids, or whatever the fuck you're gonna do, get your fucking baseball bats ready, go fucking break windows, fucking burn down Detroit, whatever it is you do to celebrate Halloween, fucking do it big this year, alright? We'll keep bringing you the horror movie reviews, and you keep bringing the fucking Halloween spirit.